<laughs> Herbert, Herbert ready to go. Is that the best way to get an injury, so a burning a touchdown uh, like man, that? It's always, it, it's always uh, you know, I mean, whenever guys make good plays, you're excited for them, you, you, just, you just let loose, you know. Old dog doesn't worry about, you know, what kind of car is passing his front yard. He just chases it, right? It's just in him. You know, he, he just gets excited when a car passes. Same thing with us coaches. We get excited when the kids make plays. How does that carry compared to others you've seen on the college level, that, that touchdown? It was a toughness run. It was a, uh, a statement run. You know, it, it was one of those runs where he was just determined to make a play, and it was at a, a point in the game where we really needed one. And, you know, so I was excited for him. You know, you know, I'm always excited for any kid that makes a play, but obviously one of the guys that's come as far as he's come, it was, it was an exciting run. You and I was excited for him. Yeah, sorry, has Rajon given you some, some grief for kind no. of being on the – no, nah, man. I mean, those, those, those guys understand that's how I coach, and I continue to coach that way. And I wouldn't miss any moment of those guys being out there. So it was never, a, you know, uh, you know, never a, a thought of not being here with them. And and uh, they just know that's me. I mean, if it would, wasn't me, and, and then I think they would. But I think they understand. I'm giving everything I got with every play. So uh, just like they are. So we we we've, uh, we haven't really talked about it much. Is that one of those plays that when, when you watch? Neil have a run like that that you think all you know kind of all those hours that you've spent kind of working on hey toughness you know making cuts here and there is that kind of when all that hits you like this is this is why you do this well yeah it is I mean I mean you know you look at that run I mean there there, there, there are a lot of things we work on and we talk about and we practice you know hand taps putting your hand down throwing your head back your hips will follow you know stiff arming guys picking up your legs you know on, on, on the free safety trying to make the tackle at the end you know so there's a lot of good things but you know ultimately you know he, he that, that was a toughness run that was something that came from deep down within and he was wanting to make a play so you know, that, that, that was that last week. Will you be on the sidelines or in the press conference? It, it don't matter where I am. I'm not the guy that's that's that's, that's good. I got to go out there and make plays. So regardless of where I am, those guys are going to go out there and play. I guess this uh, this will be Rajon Neal's final game in you know stadium. What would you kind of say about his season to this point and kind of the progression? It's not done yet. You know, uh, you know, I I, I I think it's been a work in progress. I think he's done a really good job of of, of, of changing the perception of him. The legacy that he'll leave here at Tennessee, and that was our ultimate goal. Uh, you know, when he and I first met and talked. You know, so um, you know we still got a couple chapters to go in this book, but I think so far he, he's done a good job of just trying to uh, to become a, a, a Tennessee tailback. You know, trying to do things the right way. And, and so hopefully, I'm, I'm a fan of his right now, and I hope he finishes strong. We need him to finish strong as a team. I guess this would be a, a game that's kind of good for guys who would be tough and make some plays because Vanderbilt doesn't really seem to. To make, miss a lot of plays. I mean, seem to kind of make the plays that are in front of them. I mean, Vanderbilt's a good football team. I mean, they're well coached. They do a lot of things the right way, and, and uh, you know, they've done a good job the last few years. And we got to go out there and match their intensity, and uh, and, uh, and I come away with a win. Did he have a different look in his eye against Auburn after Missouri was kind of limited for really one of the first times this year? Uh, you know what? I mean. Ray John's a pretty even kill guy. I mean, he he, he kind of stays consistent to who he is, and you know, to me, that's a sign of a good guy, a, a good football player. You know, you, it, it, it's not a it's not an emotional game. I mean, we, we talk all the time. We don't play off emotions. You know, emotions go up and down. You have to you know have a passion for the game. He really does. You know, so he he, he hadn't got up or down at any point during the season. You know, we understand as a running back, sometimes the games will go your way, and sometimes they won't. So um, you know, he, he he prepared the same way last week, and he's prepared the same way this week, and you know, hopefully everything will line up and. And uh, we can make more plays because we're definitely going to have to make plays running the ball this week. He's got a, okay. He's got a good shot at 1,000 yards. Is that something you all have talked about as a goal for him or anything like that? He, he, you know what? Um, uh, not so much for him, but more so for the offensive line. You know, I think that's that's, that's uh, something that th those guys deserve. You know, those guys will get the recognition. But you know, I think every offensive lineman wants to be able to say they had a 1,000-yard running back. You know, so, uh, you know, we understand he's close, uh, but it's not so much something for him more so for those guys up front, you know, to get those guys a, a, something they can always tell their family about. Talked about a couple weeks ago, it's up to Marlon and Rajon to, to force them to give you, or for you to force them to give reps. Did he do that against Auburn in his performance? Yeah, he, you know, he, he, he did. I mean, he, he, he had a good week of practice. And, uh, you know, as a position coach, you want to reward those guys when they work hard. And also, I think, you know, the, the more he plays and the more he can take some pressure off Ray John, I think the better back he can be. You know, I think the, the, the better running back groups in the country are the guys that, that kind of have a one-two punch. You know, so, uh, if you're really good, you got a third guy you can get in the mix. So I think those guys always play better. When another guy goes to make a play, I think it makes them hungry to go in and, and make a play next time they get a chance to. It's the right knee or? Uh, Ray John's right healthy. Knee. Okay. Marlon's healthy. Okay. The guys that have to play the game are fully <laughs> healthy. Okay. You know, I mean.